여러분 안녕하세요 말른입니다 균호도 나오네요 <웃음> 지금 이 보는 동영상을 편집하면서 제가 딱 제가 하고 싶은 말을 자세히 못해 가지고 조금 더 알려드리겠습니다 이 동영상은 그 한국에 대해 나쁜 점 그런 동영상보다는 그 한국으로 오고 싶은 외국 사람들한테 조금 더 조심해야 하는 점을 알려 알려주고 싶어서 그런 동영상을 지금 만들고 있어요 오지 말라고 하는 거 아니라 어떤 외국 나라로 이사 이사 가려면 조금 더 이런 점 이런 점을 조금 더 깊게 생각한다면 조금 더 즐겁게 조금 더 안전하게 살수 있다고 생각하는 거라서 이런 것을 알려드린 알려드리는 거예요 일단 동영상을 시작하겠습니다 땡큐 Okay, so <laughs> hi, my name is Marlon Alistair, and I have been living in Korea for three years now, over three years now. I speak Korean and I work in Korea. I've studied in Korea. I've done probably everything you can think of in Korea. And today I want to talk about something very true, very honest, and kind of very blunt. I get a lot of comments and questions about how I moved to Korea, how was it to move to Korea, what my experiences was moving to Korea, and I made a video about that a little bit on the softer side about generally how I felt about moving to Korea, but I didn't really touch on a bunch of negatives, and today I want to talk very honestly about the brutal truths about moving to Korea. And before I start this, I don't want anyone to get offended or hurt or anything like that about the things that I say. These are purely from my experiences and I want to talk about this in a way that is me talking to not only my older self, but to people that are kind of looking for someone that will just tell them how it is. They're, they're looking for a bestie that will tell them what, what they need to hear. And I hope to be that person today because I, if you clicked on this video, you are probably interested in Korea, or if you're not, I don't know why you're watching this, but you're probably interested in K-drama or K-pop, Korean culture, whatever it is that makes you want to move to Korea or just interested in watching Korean content. So today, I plan to be as honest as possible about my experiences living in Korea, what I think people should know before coming here, and to keep things in reality. Before we do that, if you are interested in me and my content, uh, I'm going to be doing a FAQ frequently asked questions video, probably next video or the next few videos. So I'm gonna post on my Instagram people for asking questions. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment here about my life, about me, about anything. And I will probably make an answering video the next video or the video after. So thank you for leaving comments, subscribe and like, I love you, thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna stop trying to get people to not hate me anymore. I'm just gonna get right into it. When it comes to culture shocks, it's gonna happen if you're, especially if you're coming from a Western country, it's gonna happen no matter how strong of a person you are or how used to traveling you are culture shock will happen and i think a lot of people are open to the idea of coming to a new country and experiencing the differences of cultures and i think that's a really uh, beautiful thing that you should be excited to come to korea for because korea has a beautiful history a beautiful culture that you can see a lot of things but if you like K-dramas, if you like K-pop, if you are interested in the popular culture of Korea and you have preconceived notions of what Korea is or you have an idea of what Korea is just in general, I would say that you need to kind of put all of those ideas behind you and all of, all of the preparation that you think you may have you should take it with a grain of salt because if you do not know someone who is Korean, if you are not Korean, if you if you have any idea of what Korea is just through media, it will be a rude awakening when you first come here and expect it to be what it was when you saw it online. So cul the culture is gonna be very different and it's something that you just have to get used to. But something that I need people to know, if you want to live in Korea, you want to learn the language, you need to get rid of that cringe. And this is this is something that I had to struggle with as well. So by any means, please do not feel offended. This is this goes for almost everyone. The cringe of speaking Korean, you cannot sound like an American and speak Korean and hope to integrate into the culture as you wish. 
because if you're speaking in like an American accent in Korean, it's not gonna look so good. It'll look like you're not really trying too hard or it'll look like you don't really speak the language so well. However, not only that, but there are a lot of things in the Korean language that a lot of people struggle with when it comes to speaking it, especially something like calling somebody oppa or calling somebody hyung, duna, onni. This is something that we don't have in the Western world. I know some other Asian countries may have it, but in a lot of Western countries, we don't have that concept of calling somebody older than you a title. So a lot of people I have seen are very uncomfortable with the idea of that. And I was at first as well, when I had a lot of older friends, I would just call them do. I would just say you. And looking back on that, I feel so stupid. I should have just gotten rid of that sort of embarrassment that I had in myself way earlier because I feel like I was being offensive without even knowing it. Of course, my friends were very gra gracious and very nice to to understand that I was a foreigner and I didn't I don't speak the language. So they were very nice. But looking back, I wish that I would have started that earlier. I wish that I would have gotten rid of that embarrassment so much earlier because I feel like I had so many friendships or things that I could have nourished better if I just got rid of that embarrassment. And I have now, luckily, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> but culture is gonna shock you, man. It's, it's, it's hard to just think that it's not going to. Just get ready for that. So after culture shock, I want to talk about friendships because I have seen so many foreigners around the world and okay first I want to say anything in this video this is not just Korea so if you take offense to any of the I'm saying this goes for any country like any country in the world all of these things that I'm saying you could just replace the word Korea with any other country that you're moving to and this will probably be true but people come to Korea and expect to make Korean friends or they make videos saying that oh I'm making hard friends in Korea is really hard and it can be don't get me wrong there is difficult when it comes to that, but I want to shed light on the reality of why it is hard. If you come to Korea and you don't speak the language, for the next, for the first two years or so, if you're not speaking good Korean, you're gonna have a very hard time meeting friends. If you're not even at a conversational level, it's gonna be very difficult to have any sort of meaningful, deep, or not even just deep, but like interesting conversations with somebody that is a native speaker. I wanna give an example. If you are at a party with a bunch of, your friends, they're all English speakers, everyone speaks English, and one of your friends brings over a friend that only speaks Arabic or only speaks Chinese or only speaks Italian. And they seem like a lovely person. They seem like a very nice and outgoing and they're really excited to be at the party and make friends and stuff like that. But they don't speak the same language as you. It'll be very, very difficult to have a close bond with this person and to be able to go any further than just a kind of acquaintance. You will be that person in Korea. You will be that person person that people think, oh, well, I mean, he looks nice. They look like a very nice person, but it's very difficult to further our relationship if we can't even go past where's the restroom or what did you do yesterday? Maybe what did you do yesterday is not a good example, but some like very, very basic levels of language learning, you're gonna have a hard time. And if you are just learning Korea when you first come here, for the first two years, I did not have a lot of really meaningful friendships with a lot of Korean people, unfortunately. And I think a lot of the friendships that you will have will be with people that are interested in learning English. And I don't think that's a bad thing, but you will miss out on a lot of opportunities or a lot of a lot of friendships that you could have if you were speaking the language. And I'm not saying you need to learn Korean fluently before you come here, but it will definitely be a good thing after you learn Korean, after you get used to the language and used to the culture, you will be able to make more meaningful and deep friendships. And I think in an ideal world, it would be nice to think, I mean, well, I can make a friendship with someone who doesn't speak the same language as me, but it is very, very difficult. I have, this is coming from my own experience. Maybe you are stronger than me, but I have had a lot of experiences with that. Let's go on to dating because I think that ties in really well when it comes to <laughs> not speaking the language. When you first come here, your friendships and your relationship availability is going to be limited to English teachers, students, people in the military, and Korean people that are interested in learning English or already know English. And that is not a bad thing by any means. But by any means, those people can be very nice people. However, if you look at the population of what Korea is or any country, 
that percentage of what those people are is very, very small. And like I said, this is not to say that those people are going to be bad people. That There's amazing teachers, there's amazing students, there's amazing Korean people that want to learn English. But when you think about the country as a whole, those percentage that percentage of people is not a very big percentage so if you are learning the language then you will be able to have a bigger uh, pool for friendships and dating so dating when you come here dating is going to be limited to that pool of people and after you learn korean then you will have a bit more options of dating people that live in korea that speak korean but until then you're in a very limited pool of people that only speak your language or people from your country or people from other countries and again this is not a bad thing by any means but it is something to be very realistic about if you cannot speak korean dating somebody having been in a relationship where you have to show your translator app every other one minute it's very difficult and i'm talking from experience man <laughs> It's not, it's not easy. It's n it, like, it is, I hope not to burst your bubble when it comes to dating because the dating scene in Korea is, it is something else, man. Even, even speaking the language, it can be something else. Maybe I'll talk about dating stories eventually, but I don't want to talk about that now. Um, but if you do not speak the language and if you are not used to the culture and if you don't have a lot of friendships, dating in Korea is going to be something that you will find difficult. And a lot of people that come here talk about the disappointment of dating culture in Korea, but because they don't, the pool of people that they have is much smaller than if they were to live here five years later and they experience the culture, they speak the language, they have much more friends, they have much more connections. Two years living in Korea, three years living in Korea, I mean, you don't really have a bunch of experience yet compared to the people that have lived here 30 years and they know so many more people, they know the language, they know the culture. It is, it is so hard. There's, there's, it, there's no competing with that. And again, I want to say, if you feel like this is something disappointing to hear, I understand that because this is something, these topics, these things that I said, these are things that I wish that I had someone tell me as honestly as possible before I came here. Because although I had these things in the back of my mind, I think it is something that is good to know that other people have these experiences. It's not just me alone. And I think it's also just good to hear from another person's mouth and to get you ready. It's not something, I'm not saying don't come to Korea, don't date a Korean person, don't make Korean friends. I want to put the reality on the table and I want to be your bestie. I want to be honest with you, man. I want to tell you how it is and it can be hard out here, but if you come here and you're ready with the things that I said and you have, okay, you have the idea that for the first two years, I'm gonna have to work hard. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do my best. I'm gonna have to learn a lot before I can really enter the real world of dating and friendships and stuff like that then you will have a much more positive experience of living in a different country. Like I said, I think a lot of these things can go for any country. I don't think that this is necessarily Korea specific. In reality, all I said was that there's gonna be culture shock things that you gotta get used to. Language, just get used to speaking it more colloquially. Friendships are gonna be a bit limited until you speak the language of the foreign country you're living in. And then the same thing goes for dating. I hope that these things do not deter you from wanting to come to Korea. I hope they make you want to work harder for the dream or the idea that you can come to Korea and really live here because I had these experiences and I'm still living here. I still love living here and I am so grateful that I pushed through these challenges or hard truths because now I am so happy that I can share these things to people that are potentially looking to live here in the near future or eventually. So I hope you don't hate me and I hope you can continue to watch my future content. If you have any questions or you have any of your own personal experiences, please let me know. Again, this is all my own personal experiences, my own personal, my opinions. And these are things that I feel like I would wish that I would have heard before or coming to a foreign country, specifically Korea, I guess, in this, in this, but thank you for watching. I hope that you will continue to watch my videos after this kind of negative topic, but I don't think it's negative. I think it's just realistic. That's just me. Anyway, okay, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Again, if you have any questions for me, FAQ stuff, leave it in the comments and I'll probably answer in the next video. Thank you for watching, goodbye.